Hi everybody, it's Buzz. Just got done watching the episode of Dallas at Seattle, so here it is, instant reaction, three things. Uh, first off, before I get started, the white shorts look amazing. <laughs> Told you guys that was going to be awesome. All right, number one, man of the match, Nikosi Tafari. Who else was it going to be? The guy's progression has been amazing. Got the assist and basically really the whole goal uh, that got them back in the game. He's been so good. His progression is so good. Even when Hedges and Martinez are healthy, I think that dude should keep his spot. That's how good he's been. Number two, again on the road, I don't like how passive Dallas has been in the last three, couple of games. It doesn't happen all the time, but when they play against these really good teams in the Northwest, it does happen. They sit deep, that's fine. Low block, that's fine. But be proactive. When you're when you're passive, Jesus comes back looking for the ball. He drops deeper and deeper. He's neutralized. He's ineffective. He gets yanked. Pepe's on an island. He doesn't get enough touches. There's no offensive opportunity. Until Seattle scored and sat back themselves, Dallas had little to say going forward at all. Number three, Imatu Amasi at right back looks pretty good. You guys remember if you've been listening to me long enough, you know that was the offseason plan. He was going to be the right back of choice coming into the season until he had that heart problem. He's definitely giving Lucci some choices at right back now. Justin Chase has been great too, but he's hurt. Tuomasi's filled in, looks pretty good. So options going forward at right back. All right, that saves instant reaction. Three things, FC Dallas at Seattle. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll talk again soon.